You've got a visitor. If it isn't a pope with a pardon and a paint, I'm not interested. You'll need help from the angels on this one. Sure, and I've seen worse and lived to tell the tale. I'm here to lead you into the light, my son. And you're feeling especially well qualified for that particular role, are you, Father? Don't you think? I mean, we could do our own photo shoot, but this is just an example of what it would look like. I don't want Brenda on the cover of Crimson. I, I think I've made that very clear. But it's karma or fate. I mean, the stars have aligned. You need to seize the moment. What are you talking about? Brenda's in Port Charles. She is? You didn't know that? I thought everybody knew that. I thought everyone knew what? Good to see you. Made some coffee. You want some? Hi. No, I'm good. Thanks. I thought all cops drank coffee. <laughs> Is it going to be that kind of meeting, or...? Well, uh, Lucky's taking a leave of absence. Right. And uh, he's out of the country for a while, so they've reassigned all his cases. And I was lucky enough to get the one where you put the bomb in Johnny's car. That was and the Lopez brothers. Brothers. Well, The Lopez brothers, may they rest in peace, have been cleared. That makes you the prime suspect, Dad. No, everything's fine. I'm back on my meds, and no damage was done. Uncle Max, Steve wouldn't let me go home if it wasn't ready. Anyway, how's Emma? Okay, tell the sitter that I will be there shortly. Okay, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Dr. Scorpio, please. <laughs> here. Let us begin with the Gospel of St. Matthew. Chapters 8, verse 6. For your father knoweth what things ye are in need of before ye ask him. Not this time. Hear ye, children, the instructions of your father. How the hell did you end up in here? How the hell did you find me? I just happened to be wrapping up some purloined goods in the Dublin Times the other day, and there's a picture of your ugly mug, and under it says, Ronan O'Reilly hired assassin. And lo! I've come, for it is written to set you free. And fine, they've got this. You're up to your ass and you're sinking fast. How did this happen? Get this ridiculous old sod out of here. I don't need saving. And verily, verily, I say unto you, son, I ain't to go nowheres. Luke's gone, and we're in the black. Amazing. Aren't you even a little bit worried about him? I just want my money back. Luke can stay gone. You, on the other hand, are the best dealer I have ever had, and I'd like you to show up for work a little bit more well, often. You've missed me, haven't you? People ask after you. I tell them that you are in, um, let's see, Amsterdam I did once, Singapore I did once, New Zealand, anything that sounds intriguing. Why not just tell them the truth? That you're risking your life for John Zakara? Not likely. I'm a freelancer. You know, working for Johnny's a game, like blackjack. I pick and choose my assignments, and hey, look on the bright side. Johnny pays me so well, I hardly have to raid the till at all. As if you could with the new security measures I've put in place. Yes, those are cute. Luke would get a kick out of him. Luke is going to get arrested the minute he sets foot back in Port Charles. Why? Because he's a thief. Not my husband. Never was. You know he'd marry you in a heartbeat, right? <laughs> In the words of our dearly departed Emily, I'd sooner put cocktail forks in my eyes. Ooh, the old cocktail forks in the eyes routine. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Spencer. Ms. Quartermain, and we're closed. If I could just have a word with Ethan, please. He's busy. I understand. Call me when you get the chance. You know, just because you're mildly less smarmy than Sonny Corinthos does not justify him risking his life for you. Would you please tell Kate to get back to me about the travel expenses because she's been going over budget almost every quarter. Uh, you own the magazine. You can talk to Kate about that particular subject because I don't think it'll be changing anytime soon. Keep that in mind. If Kate doesn't like Port Charles, why doesn't she just leave? She can live in New York, 
Paris, Mars, and then you could shut down the magazine. It would be great. Crimson is holding its own largely because of Kate Howard, okay? So I'm sure it'll be a good investment in the long run. Hmm. And speaking of investments, we have to get ready for the uh, budget committee meeting. I won't be there. That's why I'm here. I need to go check on Michael. Oh, is there a problem? He called in sick at school. The principal called me because Dante wasn't picking up his phone. And Dante's not making sure he goes to school? I don't know. That's what I'm going to find out. So Johnny had been using Ethan Lovett as insurance because you and Luke go way back. And he just happened to be out buying his dad cigars the night the explosion went off. Ethan's a, just a very generous uh, son. He's, oh, yeah, he sounds like it. But I, what I think is, is you called your, your buddy, Luke, and told him to get his son as far away from Johnny as possible. We're going to have to talk to Luke about that one, Dante. Well, it's pretty convenient, you know, both Lopez brothers dying uh -huh. the way they did. I had to. <laughs> to make I mean, we checked the warrants, and, uh, you know, their records are clean. They never had any problems with Johnny. They were running, you know, pretty good business with each other. Do you really expect the Lopez brothers to write out a plan on blowing up a car? <laughs> they had no reason to kill Johnny's car. But why are you doing this? You, you set up a nice truce between me and Johnny. There could have been a war. It didn't happen thanks to you. You got it right. Just leave it alone, Dante. What are you doing here? I want to... Oh, my gosh. What, what's so Max beautiful. and Milo doing here? Uh, Jason did that. Oh, so you're here because of Jason? I would like to hear everything about you. Really? Yes, tell me everything. What's going on? Okay, well, there's this doctor, this crazy doctor, Lisa Niles. She drugged me, she took me to this cabin, and, well, I, I, I tried to get away, and I fell into this well, and I trapped myself, well, and that's why I'm here. What do you, Sounds what you, crazy, right? What are you talking about? You, you don't end up in the bottom of wells. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, Lisa and Patrick dated in college, and when I was in Africa, they slept together. I'm so sorry. I don't know if it makes it better or worse that she's crazy. Anyway, she wanted to kill herself. I guess I should feel sorry for her, but I don't. No, I don't either. Where is she right now? Shady Brook, getting a psych evaluation, probably on her way to prison for the criminally insane. Anyway, when I was in the well, I saw Stone. I mean, I talked to him. I know that he wasn't really there, but... I had him back for a little while. Well, I understand that. You seem stunned. Yeah, there's never anything or anyone like your first love. Ever. <laughs> you know, it's really sweet that you worry about me, but there's really no need. I don't worry about you, I worry about the bottom line. You are the best draw this casino has, and I would hate to lose you to a drive-by shooting because this jackass won't leave Sonny Corinthos alone. But Sonny and I have a truce. Right. And I have Barack Obama waiting for me in my hot tub at home. Whatever he wants, say no. Oh, you'd miss me too much if I were gone, wouldn't you? I need you to open tonight, and I need you to vanish into the ether. I'll pick you up at 7. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I really, I don't get it. I pay you well, then why do you even bother with this place? Well, it keeps me in practice, for one. And, you know, Tracy's been good to me. You call that good? Like, it's just that she misses Luke like crazy, all right? And I think she's really starting to worry. <laughs> if you're so determined to save me, prove to me that God is real, that he's not just something conjured up to justify all the stupid things people do, from war to pollution to disco dancing. Disco dancing, I yard blaspheming. A fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. You call me a fool, father. Isn't there something in here about not looking a wee gift horse in the mouth? If there's a God, why is there evil in this world? Tell me that. You know, starving children, fires and destruction, ambushes in a dark alley when all any decent man can do is defend himself. Here we are in Jeremiah. And I will gather the remnants of my flock together from all the countries, and I will bring them again into the fold, whether they want me to or not. What about personal responsibility, then? You know, get into a scrape and then getting out of it on your own. 
a wise man follow the instructions of his father? My parents taught me well. To rely on no one, even if they're wearing a collar. The journey's too far for you. And uh, you must repent. Now, if you're going to quote something, I'd rather hear from all scores, honestly. Oh, you're a hard case, Roman O'Reilly. Guard, I'm afraid he's a harder case than I thought, but I still think that we can save his poor and tortured soul if the two of us could do a bit of praying in a real church. Now, there's a sweet, small wee chapel around the corner. I'd like to take him there. Yeah, I don't know if Stone was a, a, a vision or a dream, but he helped me. He helped me hold on for Emma. And he also made me realize that blaming Patrick for everything isn't necessarily a good thing. And I need to understand what went wrong. And well, sure, but what went wrong is some crazy woman seduced your husband. Yeah, but let's be honest. Patrick was not marriage material. I knew that from the beginning. Yeah, but he's still responsible for what he did. Anyway, who cares okay. about Patrick? It just uh, tell me. What, I want to hear how you feel. How do I feel? Yeah. I'm sad. I'm, I'm confused. Before I went to Africa, I spent a lot of time thinking about Stone, and I, I, I shut Patrick out. Yeah, but he, it's still his fault, too. I know, but there's always two sides to every story. Mm -hmm. No, I can't stand him already. I couldn't stand him at first either, but you know what? Patrick is a good father. And just because we love each other doesn't mean that we should spend the rest of our lives together. Can we just, can we just not talk about this right now? Yeah, you know, I have a really, really good idea. Let's what? talk a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. I missed you a lot. I know, I'm so sorry I didn't stay in touch. You know, I, you know I'm so bad it's, that. It's okay, it's fine, you're here now. I just don't know why, and I don't know what it has to do with Jason. I didn't have anything to do with Jason. It's just, I had some security problems in Rome, and, you know, my partner, Suzanne, that woman who runs ASAC, she uh, panicked, so I still have Jason down as my emergency contact. Well, that's sweet that you still depend on Jason in that way. No, it's not sweet. He came to Rome and he dragged me back here against my will. Well, then you must really be in trouble because Jason doesn't overreact. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna be fine. Jason's gonna catch this guy and then uh, I'm gonna go back to Rome. I can't stay here. It's too many memories. I didn't ask for this case, okay? A crime was committed and it needs to be solved. Johnny and Christina were almost killed in the car bomb. You had the means, the motive, and the opportunity. I'm just doing my job investigating. Okay, can you just hear me out? You don't want to, look, you don't want to be single-minded and make the same mistake you made with Michael. I will regret what Michael went through for the rest of my life. And I've been working like hell to make amends with Michael. I'm not gonna write you up any free passes so you can get away with murder. Do you hear yourself? Have you learned anything? Same thing happened with Michael. You know, nobody could tell you anything. You, you made up your mind about what the truth was and you were gonna go after it no matter what. You tracked down Michael, you made him confess. And you know what? You thought the judge was, was gonna react in a certain way and he didn't. This is a completely different situation. No, it's not, it's tunnel vision. Yeah, okay. Cause I get the same thing. Why do you want to stir everybody up and mess up the truth that you created? I'm just a cop trying to solve a case here. So. You're not just a cop. Yeah. No, you're not just a cop. You, you're a cop who happens to be my son. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from my many mistakes. If you got peace, appreciate it. Don't tear down what you built. And don't try to fix something that cannot be fixed. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone.